Well, everybody, we're making big moves. Fishing got so tough, we got a little desperate, but at least there was options. So we're going way offshore this time. I got my claws, I got some snacks, I got my overnight bag. Matt's watching little, thank you Matt if you're watching this, for watching the little man. And we're going 100 miles out in the ocean on a giant boat with a bunch of people to catch some real fish. It was a last minute decision, but it worked out really well. Luckily we're in an area where there's stuff like this that goes on, you can hop on a charter. And that's really the fun part about traveling and fishing, I think, is you really don't know what you're gonna do, especially when you give yourself enough time to go down and explore and, and stay for a bite or, or stay for as long as it takes to find a good day of fishing. And here we are, we're going to the limit. So we're about to load up. It's an all night boat ride. So we get to sleep on this boat. It's a little overnight camp trip on the boat. We'll wake up in the morning. So Matt said, as soon as the motors turn off, better get out of bed because it's going to be on. So we got our rods, we got everything we need. Let's go jump on this boat, see where it takes us. All right, I'm going to start off by introducing the crew. I'm Riley, I'm going to be helping you guys out on deck. We got Cooper also here helping us out right there in the salt crew hat. Got Ariel cooking up some good food in the galley. Vito's going to be getting us to our destination safely. And Roman is going to be running the boat all day tomorrow. So yeah, that's your crew. Welcome aboard producer, guys. slept last night kind of like a, a sleeping porch of sorts they call it a bunk I call it a bunch of dudes crammed in the little spaces but it's a fishy situation just got the wake-up call from the captain gonna head up grab some coffee have no clue what's gonna happen today the Sun is just rising the captain was just saying we found a big bed of kelp and that's where the Dorado are gonna be so we're gonna troll around first it's better when the light actually comes out fully and you can see birds you can see bait going so it's a waiting game now. Let's let the light come out. Let's get some coffee in us. Let's go fishing. Oh. Okay, so here's the gig, everybody. Fresh bait, fresh hook, fish everywhere. Drop it over the side and catch one. Let's go. Here we go. Here we go. It's on. It's on. Coming over. Going under. Need help. I'm on. I'm on. Oh, oh. busted me. Damn it. No, I just lost it. They are swarming the boat, everybody. I don't know if you can see this. They are all around us. All around us. Holy crap! Dude, that's a huge school of them. Oh, wow, that's a nice one. Oh, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. Oh my god! Came right off. Ladies and gentlemen, this is insane. Pure chaos. It's going on everywhere. Absolute He's chaos. Left, so these fish come up the battle, blowing up, blowing up towards the boat the minute we drop in. Everybody's throwing baits in the water. 
The bite initially was off the charts. I missed it actually. Didn't get that first fish on video. We'll show you it in just a second. But the key is to just stay in the water while the fish are here. So we got fresh baits, they're running out, the bite is on. They get ready. Oh, he's got it. Oh, he's nipping at it. He's on, he's on, he's on. Screaming, he's screaming. I'm gonna ease into it this time. Got him. Fish, coming at you. Oh. oh, God. I don't know what this is. I think I got it. Oh, my God, everybody. This is chaos. This is chaos. This is chaos. I don't know what this is, but it's definitely bigger. Yeah. Oh, bro. Good one, dude. Oh, 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 coming over. Coming over. Coming over. <laughs> oh, baby. Woo! This is unbelievable, you guys. All you can see is these little blue flashes underneath the boat. Come on now. Come on now. Come back to me. Line, bro. You gotta come right. Under, over. Yeah, the giant. Oh. Oh. This thing is huge. The biggest one I've seen so far. Under. This is unreal, you guys. We're together, guys. Yep. Son of a gun. This is crazy. There it is, everybody. That's the magic. That's where they live. Literally that one little piece of structure is what all these fish are hanging on out here. So we're coming back and forth to it. We're going upwind of it, drifting by it. All those fish are coming out and they're just lingering around that kelp, which is super cool. I was expecting it to be a bigger piece of kelp, but it's literally just a little piece of kelp and there are so many fish on it. It's so cool. Oh, it's so good. Sheer chaos. Pure chaos. The whole color, we got colors on it. I'm doing tangles, reeling in fish, over and unders. Oh, Sean, that's a good one, dude. Got our killer deck hands over here, rocking hard. On the bando. Dude, you're all bent up. He's all bent up. Can I come down to this corner, bro? Absolute freaking chaos. Oh, we got another boat. We got another boat. Violence. Oh, that looks so violent. Oh. There he is, Sean. Shooter. Shooter. Wow. What a cool looking creature. Now, why do they turn color so fast when you after you kill them? They just start losing life. I think it's something so to do with like the water and their temperature. Right. They start warming up and they start changing colors, I think. That is so Once cool. they get out of the water. Look at these colors, everybody. Hey guys, got Such an amazing fish. Way to go, John. First one. Way to go, Sean. The second fish on the boat for us. Why not? We get one more piece. So, it seems like it's pretty violent. As soon as we start, we're going to keep getting them back in the water. Fresh baits. Oh. Cool. After a lot of excitement, I worked up an appetite. Luckily, old gal here is making some killer breakfast burritos. So a little intermission, we're gonna go on the troll for a minute. 
put four rods out behind the boat and troll around until we find another big school of fish. Then we'll all be dropping lines back in. So a little bit of food in the belly never hurt though. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, over here again. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Taking it, he's taking it. On! Oh, oh, Larry! Oh, go, you guys, you go over him. Yep, and I'll go under you. Okay. <laughs> go ahead, go over. <laughs> oh, oh. As you can see the other one right here. So crazy. like this before these fish are coming to the boat as fast as they can as fast as you can get a bait back in the water someone's got one back on Yo! We're here for welcome fish. aboard producer guys <laughs> enough said oh there he's there oh he's on there he's on there he's on there he's on there oh he let it go oh what a rip off he had it for a long time dude he was just ripping it Look at those teeth marks. Look at those teeth marks, everybody. This thing just got destroyed. Oh, that's a screamer. Yep, yep. There he goes. On. Come down, come down. There's John, coming down. Going under, 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 under. Under. Who's got the white line? Nobody. <laughs> Here we go, go under here, bro. Here we go. Woo! Oh, oh, under, under. Go under. Go under. Go under. Go under. Go under. Oh, baby. Coming over. Oh, oh, what's going on here? <laughs> Where are we at? Where are we at? Oh, dude, this is a good one. Dude, that thing is huge. Oh. Kicking my butt, everybody. Okay, I'm gonna try to get it to come right by the camera. Camaraderie, the excitement, the high fives is what it's all about here. 
that was sheer pandemonium. We have our whole limit of Dorado now. So we're gonna head out and look for some other fish. You guys are not gonna wanna miss the cooking that we do with some of these fish. So stick around to the end of these episodes. And if you guys haven't seen this entire trip, we've been in San Diego for a week doing all kinds of crazy stuff that we've never done before. This by far is the craziest. What a day. All right, everybody. We just spotted some yellowfin here. Totally different species, but a really desirable one yet. Apparently they fight extremely hard. So we're doing a big circle here, chum in the water. I'm gonna get lines in. I'm freshly baited. Let's do this. Right when we just started to reel in those plugs, I was skipping it across the surface and one blew up on it and actually hooked it really back in. I thought I had the camera on, sorry for all you out there, but that was the first one that we got. I'll show you these fish here in just a second, but that was really cool. Pure chaos, everybody. He's Sean just got it. That's fine. 12. Uh, Ooh, first yellowtail. Get to get oh. some bait back in. Well, the goal is now is to find some tuna or some skipjack. Don't even know what those are. And a yellowtail. I actually got one yellowtail already. You guys saw that. That was that little dude that I brought in right away. But I can't wait to eat these things, honestly. This is so freaking cool. But we're really on the hunt now. We have to go across, back and forth, zigzag. They're up in the wheelhouse looking at the radar, trying to find any sort of sonar or radar marks of these fish. And we're looking for big schools again. So hopefully when it happens, we'll get all those boats to swarm up to the boat. We'll get all these baits in the water and it'll be absolute pandemonium again. Come on guys, let's go. Put the baits in the water. Okay, the time is now. A big fish just jumped out of the water. Just stopped moving. Got the call from the cabin. He's yelling at us to get the stuff in. Let's do it. Ooh! Oh my god. Under, under, oh under, my under, god. Under, 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 under. I gotta go over you now. My bad, dude. That's fine. No, you're good. You're good. You're good. Come on over here. Go see Come on, somebody get bit. <laughs> Got a big yellow fin on guys. This one got blown up. Another guy hooked one right next to me. And now this one's finally right to the boat, so tension is high. Now just like that, keep that rod sit nice and bent the entire time. Stay right here, stay right here. Keep that rod sit bent. Every time you stop, that fish goes up. Oh! What was it? That was a blue fin. It was a little blue fin. Ah, right, come on down. You gotta go all the way to the stern and follow that. Fish coming down, guys. Oh, come down. Ah, rail. Oh, Oh, hey, come down. I got light. I think you guys can feel the presence on the boat right now. Huge disappointment. Two great opportunities. Both of them just popped off. Didn't even break the line. They just came off. Oh, that sucks. Your hook broke, man. Check it out. You have no barb oh, on yeah, there. Oh yeah, no more barb. No barb. Everybody. Today has finally come to a close. It ended on a heartbreak with those two big tuna, but it was an amazing experience and we made a ton of friends out here today and that's what these trips are all about. So now Connor is gonna show us a quick demonstration on how to fillet one of these mahi-mahis and the yellowtail and then of course we gotta eat it. But we gotta eat some of this stuff raw. So I got my wasabi, I got my soy, and I got my stirring stick and we got our man right here to fillet him up. So let's do this. Yeah, you just do your outlines, most important part. 
get your outlines down. Flip it, do your outline on the other side. Down to the belly, down the back. Flip it. Once you do your outline, you're ready to slap it out. Come back from the tail, hold it by the tail. Cut away from it. Like that. That side's done. Sometimes a little suction cut. Help you out. Slab the rest of it out. Go right over the rim. Cut out anything you don't need. Come over here, cut it in half. Skin it out, got a nice steak right there. Come over here, do the other side. Got a nice steak right there. Come over here. Cut everything out you don't want. So this is the mahi right here. Now he's gonna do the yellow tail, which is even more delectable. So let's see how he does that. Little steak right there. Little steak, come over here, cut the ribs out. A little scrap, quick and easy, little snack right here. Look at that color, everybody. Oh, the scent is so salty and nice. Here it goes. I'm not waiting any longer. We got us a little piece of avocado, and we got a bunch of hungry fishermen behind us. Yes, sir. Here it goes, everyone. The initial taste test. Dude. Dude. Dudes and dudettes out there. That is phenomenal. The texture of it's almost like a like a Wagyu steak in a way. And the flavor is not far off. That is so good. It's almost I don't even know. I don't know what it tastes like. It tastes like the best sushi you've ever had without any other ingredients but the fish. So amazing. I gotta do another one. Unbelievable, everybody. Okay. Time for the mahi. Mm. Same amazing texture. Not quite as rich of flavor, but absolutely unbelievable nonetheless. If you guys have never done this kind of trip before or you have the chance where you get to go fishing for these kind of fish, I would highly recommend it. It's been one of the coolest days. Made a ton of new friends, caught amazing fish, saw some stuff that I might never see again, and had an absolute blast around the producer. This has been such a cool trip so far, and I'm so glad you addicts are along for the ride here. I gotta eat another piece, and then we're gonna share with our friends. He's a golem. <laughs> He's drooling. You can see it going down his chin. <laughs> well, I don't want to miss out on the fun. No, dude, get in there. Yeah! Oh, oh, sure. I think my tongue was so good. So as we headed back in on our trip with the producer, I was kind of sitting on the back deck reflecting on the San Diego trip in a whole and all the great experiences, the pros, the cons, the good things and the bad things that happened on this trip. And I can't think of anything bad. And I think for any fishing trip where you have that mentality of just being optimistic and, and looking towards adventure and seeing something new and, and more building the trip on the people that you're meeting and the experiences that you're having, whether or not you're super successful or not, that just comes with the territory of fishing and going on a, a fishing vacation or adventure.
Uh, sometimes you don't have the best fishing, but there's always something that you can take from it that really will stay with you for forever and help you remember that trip. And I must say on this one, it was, it was making new friends like Matt and meeting new fishermen like the kids on the producer and the captains and, and just, again, having fun no matter what. Whether it be from overcoming a fear like diving a, a, a kelp field in the middle of the ocean, something I never thought I would ever do, uh, to swimming around looking for lobster, to catching my first mahi ever. Um, There's so many great things that came out of this trip and I think a lot of it came from just being optimistic and having an open mind. With that being said, I want to give a huge shout out to my friend Matt Mahoney and our good friend Steve Chrysler for making this trip happen and the, all the crew on the producer for this awesome, awesome trip that we had today. It's not one I will be soon forgetting and I know we will be back. And I want you addicts all to be commenting below on some of the trips that you want to see. If you're in other parts of the country and you have different kinds of fishing that you want to see us do or think would be really fun to film, please comment below, send us an email, hit us up on Instagram or any other platform and give us some ideas and we'll try to keep this awesome content coming for you guys. If you guys want to see more fun and exciting adventures just like this one, be sure to go up here and click this link to this next video. Go down here, hit subscribe, turn those bells on, give this video a thumbs up, please, and comment below and you can be the comment of the day just like this person right here. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. You stay fishy. We'll see you out there.